da 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 so while people populate the uh, chat and the stream right now, I will tell you a little about Eternal Masters because this Eternal Masters was actually one of the very first sets that we bought in in big supply. And it was one of the first times that I actually kind of thought maybe I could make a go of this as like a, a store or a supplier. So I worked with one of my friends who had a shop down in Florida. And I actually, when this first came out, uh, they were retailing around $300. Um, I got over 25 boxes, somewhere around there, 20 something boxes of Eternal Masters and I basically sold them all out because um, people were uh, selling around 300 but I think there were people trying to get upwards of 350 to 400. This was all in the phase when they were, um, it was spoiled that Eternal Masters would be out but it wasn't spoiled what all was in there. We did see Force of Will. That, I believe, is actually the uh, the cover right here. That's the Force of Will. Um, but we didn't know Mana Crypt was going to be in there. We didn't know Jace was going to be in there. Uh, but we just knew Eternal Masters, the eternal... Goodness, what kind of crazy shit could be in there? So, uh, hey, Jared, how's it going? Um, so, yeah, I got a ton of these boxes sold and had a lot of fun cracking these packs so I have a special spot in my heart for Eternal Masters. I want to thank our patron, not patron. <laughs> I want to thank our member. Patrons are coming soon, by the way. Uh, we are going to be starting up a membership program next month, or excuse me, next year, which is just in a few days now, um, where you can get free raffle spots, discounts on cards, free food if you come by the shop, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm still working out the details on that at the moment. But um, yeah, this came from one of our members uh, on consignment and really, really thankful for it because this is going to be a lot of fun to crack. So let's just get right to it and see who the winners are. All right. So we're going to head right on over here da, 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 and find our 24 winners. And I'm going to do this right. We're just going to go ahead and grab all of the names right down here. This is, of course, in our basement group. There's uh, all the names. I'm going to copy them. And then we're going to head over to random for our good old randomizations. Da, 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 da. Random.org. And head on over down to the list randomizer. And then we're going to plot all the names. And you'll see the names all the way at the bottom. And as we scroll all the way up to the top. Okay, so that's all the names. Now they're all in order, so we're gonna randomize them three times. We've done this every time. Three times just to make sure they're nice and randomized before we actually do our drawing. So let's get three on the board. Here's one. Here's two. And here is number three. So as you can tell, the list is completely randomized and all the names and numbers are all right here. So here's what I'm gonna do on top of this to pull. We're just gonna do a die roll, and the die roll will determine how many more times I randomize this list. Then the top 24 names get packs. That's all we're doing. We're not gonna do it several times over and over again. I'm just gonna pick one through 24. Those guys get packs out of the box. I'm gonna plot the names down, and away we go. All right, everybody? Good luck to everyone playing. Thanks for joining us uh, on our last consignment raffle of 2019. Why do I keep saying our last consignment raffle? Well, surprise, surprise, I'm working with a couple other groups to actually do a free raffle uh, before New Year's. So um, stay tuned on that one. I, kind of a little thank you gift to everybody. All right, here we go. Let's do the die roll. I'm going to plot this right over here. Ba -da -ba -ba. And hopefully get this uh, all on camera. And how many times we will randomize the list is... What is that? Is that six? That is a six. Big time six. So we're going to randomize the list six additional times. And on the sixth time, we will have our 24 winners. Everybody ready? So this will say nine times. Here we go. Six times to go. I know that's a lot of math. All right. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And this will be the last time we randomize it. The next 24 winners will be the winners of the, of the packs that we're going to crack out of here. Here we go, everybody. Good luck to you all. Thanks for playing along. And the winners are... Booyah! Ladies and gentlemen, those are your winners, starting with Jeremy Hudson, Trevor got a few, Malcolm, Nick Franco got a couple, Amar, Nick Walker, Mark Moran, all these guys all the way down to number 24. 
So what I'm gonna do is just start plotting those names real quickly. Jeremy, feel free to take a look. This is what we're gonna be using uh, for our 24 spots, and then we're gonna crack the packs and see what everybody won. So Trevor got that, uh, that, that. Uh, let's see, Malcolm. And congrats to all our winners. Thank you for everyone for participating. Hopefully we got a good sampling of winners here today. So we got Nick again. And excellent, I'm super busy right now. Hugs and kisses, okay. All right, so number eight is Amar. Well, you know what, this is gonna make this a lot easier. I'm just gonna keep this list exactly as it is, that way I don't, uh, and we'll just reference that each time. So we know exactly what's going on and we can get right to it. All right, everybody. So we're heading over to the Eternal Masters box. And our first, well, we're, let's crack the box first. Now, remember with these Masters products, and there were seven of them, starting with Modern Masters in 2013, uh, there is a foil in every pack and there is usually some pretty good value. They did, however, reduce the amount of packs you can get. There's actually only 24 packs in a box, unlike the standard 36 packs you'll normally get. So I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly grab things out like so. And these are our 24 packs and we will find our 24 winners. Uh, just a quick reminder while everybody's watching, it's a little like undressing a virgin. Yeah, you nailed it. Uh, just a little reminder for everybody watching. If you get pulled as a winner and you don't like your pack and you don't want to pay for the shipping, shipping's normally around 3 to $5 depending on how many packs you get cracked. Uh, I will buy back your pack for $5 shop credit. So basically, your, your winning bid costs you nothing if you want to play it that way. So let's start off here with number one and I will uh, basically just crack the pack and then we will reference who the winner is. So this one is Jeremy Hudson, number one. And let's see what we got here. And so we're gonna just go through this a little bit just to show people some of the cool commons, uncommons, and then of course there's always a foil and a rare in the back. So first off is Averix, Avon Rift Watcher, Urborg Uprising, Sting Scour. There is just neat stuff throughout all of uh, magic history in here. Una's Grace, Seal of Strength, Wear bear, and then we're going to get over to the uncommons here with Calciderm, uh, Slinger, Prodigical Sorcerer. This is the original Timmy, if you will. And I think we're on our rare, which is Void. Choose a number, destroy all artifacts and creatures with CMC equal to that number. Then target player reveals his or her hand and discards all non land cards with CMC equal to that number. That's kind of a neat card spell. I haven't played that before. And our foil today is Stinger Scour. That's our foil right there, kind of sexy. All right, so that one is for Jeremy. Congrats to you. That was pack number one. Put it right back like that. All right, so pack number one is done. Uh, next up, we have Trevor. Trevor actually has packs two, three, and four. Congrats to you, Trevor. Let me mark these all down. Two, three, and four. So these are all Trevor Pearman packs. Congrats to you. Let's see what we got. Uh, what kind of wins we got in here? All right, so we're gonna kind of go through the commons fairly quickly and get to the to the goosey stuff, if you will. <laughs> hey, Gio, I know you're watching, buddy. Invigorate. I recently discovered this card. This is super fun. I'm a Timmy player. I love playing with Creature Smash and having an instant speed spell that gives plus four plus four and only cost you three life. You can throw this on your commander for lethal damage. And no one will ever see this coming because they're like, oh, you're tapped out. This is a super fun spell. A lot of people don't even know it exists. Really fun. It's a free way to give a creature plus four, plus four. Um, I don't know. I, I like it a lot. Uh, Blood Artist, also a great way to basically combo somebody out. Soul Scatcher. And boom, Sylvan Library. 20 plus dollar card right there. Nice pull for your first one out of your three packs. And Thornwild Archer is our foil. Sylvan Library, very nice pull. Super value there. Uh, anybody looking to trade cards in, we always trade cards in. We buy cards. We do the whole thing. So if anybody doesn't want what they got today and they don't want to trade for it and they just want to maybe give it to the shop, uh, we will definitely give you value for that. Oh, yeah. Thrun definitely uses that. This is pack number three uh, or win number three. And this is again for Trevor Perriman. So let's get this together. Da -da 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 -da. Counterspell. Old school counterspell. How about that? 
da, 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 Annihilate, Torrent of Souls, and Cabal Therapy. Name a non-land card. Target player reveals his or her hand, discards all cards with that name, and you can flash it back. Super fun spell. Speaking of spells, Mother of Runes. Boom, the original protection spell. Uh, last I checked, this was somewhere between 6 to $8. I could be off by a few, but nice, nice piece right here. Mother of Runes, solid, solid pickup. And Stupefying Touch is our foil there. Very, very nice. All right, uh, Mr. Trevor, so far this was a good investment on your part. And that is pack number two for Trevor. And this is number four win. Also the final pack for Trevor, I believe. Oh, no, Trevor won another one later on. We'll reference the list again. All right, here we go. Do 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 do. Uncommon number one, Keldon Champion, Bloodbraid Elf, Relic of Progenitus. Getting rid of exiling graveyards is so key, so key. You are definitely going to want these kinds of spells. Anything that exiles a graveyard is super super key, especially in Commander. And boom, Karmic Guide, sexy, flying pro black. When it enters the battlefield, return to a creature card from your graveyard to your battlefield. Well, what do you know? Someone's playing this, you play this, you get rid of the graveyards. Boom, and foil, up Urborg Uprising. Very, very cool. Those are your three packs right there. That was, again, Trevor Pearman. Very nice. All right, so I'm just going to move this over here so we all see who's up next. Next up is Malcolm Beckford, followed by Nick Franco. So Malcolm... You will get pack number five. And this is for you. Let's see if someone's going to pull that Jace, that Force of Will, the Mana Crypt, such... There's a... Uh, what tutor's in here? I think Demonic Tutor or, or the other tutor that's in here. Some really fire stuff in here. All right, Uncanny... Uncanny... Uncommon. Honden of Life's Web. Shaman of the Pack. Sanger Autocrat, and boom, Wasteland. Wait, what is the foil? Worn Power Stone, Wasteland. What a sexy pickup, Malcolm. Yes, very, very nice. Solid, solid, very cool. Congrats to you, Malcolm. That is a solid pickup. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to see that in a deck you're going to be playing in the very near future, if you don't already have one. Vampiric Tutor, thank you, Geo. Yep, you're on top of things today. All right, so that was Malcolm's pack. Very nice pull. Next, we're heading over to packs six and seven. We have Nick Franco on both of them. All right, so let's do it like this. Number six, number seven. So these are Nick Franco's right here. And I'm just kind of moving this all aside so we have separate winners. There's, here's Nick. Yeah, if you ever find a, an opportunity to get Eternal Masters boxes, this is probably, in my opinion, the best of the Master Series. They really hit it out of the park with this one. Super value. Um, one of my favorites. So I highly recommend, if you can find one of these boxes under $500, I think they retail somewhere around $450, $550, something like that. Um, I highly recommend looking into it because it's a solid pickup, and it's only going to age pretty well. Um, solid. Anyway. Uh, commons, 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 and uncommons. Fact or fiction? Havoc Demon. Phyrexian Ingester. Call the Skybreaker. Put a 5-5 five, five blue and red elemental creature token into flying on the battlefield. Retrace. Hey, Danny, good to see you, buddy. And a welcome guide. This is going to be Nick Franco's first pack. Congrats to you. So, so far, no mythics have been cracked. We did open a Sylvan Library and a Wasteland for value. And this is Nick, pa uh, Nick Franco's second pack, or pack number seven of the wins. So we still have several packs to go. And Uncommons, we have a Juggernaut, Chain Lightning. Oh my gosh, Chain Lightning. I just played some 93-94 with Geo, and I couldn't believe Chain Lightning made an appearance, but it was a lot of fun to play that. Hydro Blast and Rurik's Blade Wing. Booyah! Followed by a Swift Water Cliffs in foil. Very nice. All right, sir, that is going to be uh, Nick Franco's two packs, numbers six and seven. Let's head back over here, and we're going to find Amar on the big board. Amar is number eight. All right, Amar, good luck to you, boss. Let's get you pack number eight. Yeah, it's. Uh, I hope we get to see Dan more often around the shop. We've missed him this whole time. Haven't had his, uh, his style around here. It's... Always good to have Dan in the shop. 
Uh, Uncommons, we've got Battle Squadron, Calciderm, Singer Autocrat, and Braids. Oh, if this were only legal in our format. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacks an artifact, creature, or land. I think just by reading that, you understand why it's not legal in our format. Because this and a Dark Ritual, and you pretty much have a turn one lockdown. It's awesome. Uh, Harmonize in Foil. Very nice pickup. And those are Amar's packs right there. Congrats to you, Amar. Okay, on to pack number nine. And this is going to be Nick Walker. Nick Walker. All right, Nick, let's see what you got. So far, still no Mythics have been opened. Hey, David, good to see you, buddy. All right, so we are on pack number nine of 24, and this is Nick Walker's pack. We're going to head over to the Uncommons. Bro, no ban list again this year. <laughs> we may have to do that, I agree. Kelvin Champion, Pyroblast, Phyrexian Garganja, and boom, Toxic Deluge. Who does not love Toxic Deluge? Well, I don't. I, I effing hate it because I'm a Timmy player, as I've mentioned. I love my little creatures, and this thing wipes our ass. But this thing is a fantastic card if you want to get rid of all those little annoying creatures, especially the indestructible ones. This is how you do it. Nice pickup, sir. Very, very nice. Uh, and, of course, this was pack number nine, and that was Nick Walker. Okay. Gio, one of your packs is coming up soon. All right, that's Nick Walker. Next up on the big board, uh, we have number 10 is Mark Moran. Mark Moran. Ba -da -ba -ba. Well, Dan, good news. We actually have magic going on every day of the week. We have so many games going on. There's board games here at the basement. We have D&D &D Fridays and Saturdays. In fact, I think they're doing a Thursday uh, one-shot um, so you can come basically any day, Wednesday through Sunday. Next week is going to get a little hectic with some of the, the holiday stuff, but our normal days, uh, Wednesday through Sunday, five o'clock to midnight, uh, we're here rocking out. So come on by and check out the shop, buddy. Okay. Who am I opening right now? This is pack number 10. This is Mark Moran. Congrats to you, Mark. Let's see what you got. Okay. Some uncommons. Juggernaut, Faith's Feathers, Ashna's Altar. Can't be mad at that. Diminishing Returns, very nice way to replenish your hand. And is that a Foil Toxic Deluge? Holy shit, that's a Foil Toxic Deluge. Wow, what a pick. That is gorgeous. Ah, oh, yeah, just stare at that for a hot minute right there. That is beautiful. Yeah, David, as far as being open on Mondays, uh, I, and on the seventh day, Kevin rested. That's all I can say. <laughs> But this is a beautiful pickup right here. Foil Toxic Deluge. Very, very nice. If you're not playing it, someone will trade you for it or we'll give you credit for it because that is a solid pick right there. Mark Warren, that is your pack. All right, let's see who's next. I think it is Geo. Geo number 11. There it is, Geo Fox. All right, Geo, let's get you rocking and rolling. Still have not opened a Mythic. Let's see if this is going to be the one right here. There is a Mana Crypt somewhere in this box. There's a Jace the Mind Sculptor in this box. Who knows what other crazy shit is in here, but there is some solid, solid things. Trade to Geo, all of it is all I can say. I love it. All right, Geo, here is your pack. Good luck to you. And uh, you do have another pack coming up in a little bit, by the way. Uh, Force of Will would be awesome. Okay, Burning Vengeance is our first uncommon. Brainstorm. Hey, you can't be mad at a good Brainstorm. Those are solid. A Tigron Predator. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may destroy a target artifact or enchantment that player controls. And the mythic, come on, baby, mythic. Ooh, oh, it's artifact. We have an artifact. I repeat, there is an artifact here. Is it a creature artifact? What kind of artifact is it? Who knows these things? What, what are we sneaking at? What, what are we looking at here? <gasps> uh, 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 oh, a chrome mox. All right. I forgot all about the chrome mox. That's a solid piece right there. That is, hey, you can't be mad at a Chromox, buddy. That's that's definitely made your money back, and then some. And a Sprite Noble, very nice. Congrats on that pickup. Chromox for the W. Very, very cool. That is Geo's pick right there. All right, next up. Uh, number uh, 12. Number 12 is Nick Walker. Nick Walker. Come on down, Nick Walker. And I believe these, uh, yep. These are going to go on top of a little pile he has over there because he already won some. So this is Nick Walker's second pack.
And again, thank you all very much for participating um, in this uh, in, in our last commission raffle of 2019. Um, as I mentioned, there will be another raffle, but that one's actually going to be free for all of our members. So I'm putting together the details and what all is going to be in there, but it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, Nick Walker, uh, number 12. This is for you, buddy. Here we go. Uncommon, Armadillo Cloak, Zealous Persecution, Wall of Omens. And I saw a Nev Disc right there. Nice pickup. Always good to be able to blow shit up with a Nev Disc. And the Fervent Cathar right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! All right, that one's Nick Walker. And I'll say this several more times while I got more people watching. Uh, sorry, let me just put this in the right spot. Nick Walker, 12 and 9. Boom, boom. And we're on to pack number 13, which is John Rama, John Rios. John Rios is pack number 13. Let's head over there. Um, if you open a pack on the stream and you don't really like what you got in there, I will give you $5 for your pack. $5 credit to the shop for your pack. Uh, if you find trades that you want to trade for value, I definitely can take those in as well if you open stuff you don't actually want. All right, so this one is number 13. It's John Rios. John Rios on the big board right here. Let's see what we can win for you today. Only one Mythic has been opened so far. <laughs> I'll try to get this wrapped up, Gio. We only have half the packs to go. Honden of Infinite Rage, Brawn, Mesa Enchantress, and a Siege Gang Commander, followed by a Foil Fog. Very nice, sir. That may be one that you want to go ahead and trade in for that $5 credit. Uh, Matthew, good pull so far. Well, there was a Chrome Mox. We did get a, uh, a Sylvan Library and a, a Foil Toxic Deluge. Uh, what was the other big one? Uh, so, yes, there has been value open. And there was another big one. I forgot the name of it, though. Uh, let's see. That was pack 13. We're on to 14. 14 is Jeremy again. All right, Jeremy Hudson, we've only opened one Mythic so far. That means, statistically speaking, there's at least two more left in this box of wonder right here. There is a Centaur Chieftain, uh, Swords to Plowshares, Intangible Virtue, and a Green Sun Zenith. That's always a nice pickup. Green Sun Zenith is a great way. If you've never seen the trick before, you put a Dryad Arbor into your deck, and basically on turn one, you have two mana to play with. So that's a nice, solid pull. And a Foil Glacier Wall. Very nice, sir. Okay. And that's Jeremy Hudson right there. Uh, next up is Trevor Perriman again. All right, Trevor. Trevor did very well. This is his fourth pack, actually. Nicely done, sir. All right, Trevor. Trevor, we're going to head on over and see what we got. We got a Nekatal. We got Extract from Darkness. Phyrexian Ingester, and eight and a half tails. If you've never played this as your commander, you're missing out. It's super fun. You basically get pro everything. <laughs> That's how you play it. It's a lot of fun. And Innocent Blood is our foil there. Very, very cool. I would definitely say, let's see, this was 15. 15 is Trevor. Trevor, you done well for yourself. That was a, that was a solid investment on your part. Oh, hold on, we got cards coming out here. Okay, uh, let's see, that's 15. We're going to number 16, and 16 is David. David's on the big board, so just a reminder who's up. We have David, John, Geo, another David, another Trevor, Nastasha, Devin, two Johnny Walker, or John Walker and a John Rios. So that's going to be the rest of who's left. All right, so I just said we're on number 16. And 16 is David. David, this is your pack, buddy. Good luck to you. <laughs> Nick, you won quite a few packs. Um, in fact, I think we have one more to open for you. But yeah, you've won some packs for sure. Uh, once this video is uploaded, you can see the whole thing over again. Okay, Nick Tall. This is a David's, by the way. Sprite Noble, Price of Progress, and the winning uh, rare is bup, 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 Goblin Trenches in the rare. And the foil, come on, show me some money, show me some value. Control Magic is a foil... Uh, a rare foil, not too bad. Um, that's a lot of fun right there. All right, David, congrats to you, sir. Like I said, if you did not want your pack, I will give you a $5 shop credit, and that'll help you out if you are, or if you want to trade it, you're welcome to trade it as well. All right, number 17. 17 is John Walker. And Johnny uh, hit us once before on pack number 12. So let's see what we got here. 
All right, Johnny Walker. Bada bing, bada boom. Young Pyromancer, Mindless Automation, Wonder, I remember Wonder, and Entome. That's a solid pickup right there. Search your library for a card and put that card in your graveyard, then shuffle your library for only one black mana. Solid pickup there, nicely done. And Humble is our foil, very, very nice. Johnny Walker, well played, sir. All right, we only have a few packs left. Let's get to it. Pack number 18 is Geo Fox again. All right, Gio, you got our first mythic of the of the box. Are you about to get the second? Let's check it out. Oh, David, you actually have another pack in here. You, you're number 19 as well. I didn't realize that. Yeah, so you have one more pack to go. All right, Gio, let's see what you got. Tidal Wave, Harmonize, Young Pyromancer, War Priest of Thune, and Brago, King Eternal. Someone was just asking about this. Brago, King Eternal, that is yours. Very, very nice. Followed by a foil reckless charge. Still no mana crypt, which makes me think since I believe we've only seen one mythic, it's gonna be mana crypt that's in here, that's left. I, I just have this feeling. Number 19, let's see where I put that sheet at. What did I do with the number 19? Oh, there it is. Uh, number 19, again, I'll just go over this one more time for you guys so, so you know who's left. 19 is David. 20 is Trevor, 21 Nastasha, 22 Devin, 23 John, and 24 John. All right, so that's who we've got left. So number 19 is David. This is your second pack. Good luck to you, boss. By the way, the shop will be open today at 5, and we close at midnight. So anybody who is local and wants to pick up their wins, you're welcome to come by today. Trade for it. Get your credit, whatever you like. Uh, Honden of Seeing Winds, Havoc Demon, Honden of Cleansing Fire, and a Gamble. Gamble! Not bad. That's that's a solid pickup right there. It may not be as worth as much as it used to be, but it's a great commander staple. A lot of fun there. Followed by a Foil Faithless Looting. Very nice, sir. All right, Mr. David, that is your second and last pack. Congrats on your wins. And we're on to number 20. Pack number 20 is... Pack number 20 is Trevor Pearman again. Okay. Let's see, double check. Yep, Trevor. Let's see what you got, buddy. All right, Trevor, here are your wins. Tooth and Claw, Rancor, always a nice pickup. Price of Progress, and our rare is going to be World Gorger Dragon, the second mythic. Wah, 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 wah. A lot of fun, and dragon players love this kind of shenanigans. Not the best mythic. This should definitely be more of a rare, but say lovey, it is what it is. Let's see what our foil is. Emperor Crocodile. I swear I've gotten like 50 of these Emperor Crocodiles in foil. It's just the most overprinted foil out there. Okay, well, not every one of them is going to be batting a thousand, so sometimes you got to take a, a, an L on that. But um, Trevor, that's your pack there. That is number 20. We're uh, last four packs, ladies and gents. Last four packs. Let's get this done. I'm just going to mark them down. 21, 22, 23, and 24. So here we go. Uh, so 21. Why does it look like? Yeah, 21. There we go. 21 is going to be Nastasha. Nastasha got on the big board. I don't think she's in the live stream, but here goes Nastasha. We haven't seen you in a while, so we'd love to have you come back to the shop again. Good luck to you, Nastasha. Here's our commons and our uncommons coming up. Roar of the Worm, Gaia's Blessing, Animate the Dead, a solid pickup if I've ever seen one. Followed by Jareth, Leon, and Titan. Actually, a really fun cat commander, I'm not going to lie. And what is our foil? Tell me it's something sexy. Thunderclap Wyvern, Thunderclap Wyvern. Okay, not too bad. Had some fun there. That is Nastasha's win. Congrats to you, girl. Hopefully we see you this weekend and you come by and pick it up. All right, number 22. 22 is Devin. Devin got on the big board today. Let's see what Devin's going to pull down. Thunder. Statistically speaking, there should be one mythic left. Now, there's some fantastic value in the rare spot, but it'd be nice to see another solid mythic in this box. All right, these are Devin Alvarado's. We have a Fog, we have a Llanowar Elf, a Boar, 
A wee dragon knots. A blood artist. Ooh, what could this sexy artifact be? Is it the big one? Is it the mana crypt? Is it... Hey, Isochron Scepter's not a bad pull at all. That's a solid pick if I've ever seen one. You can do a lot of fun shenanigans with that. Isochron Scepter, very nice. And a giant tortoise. Not mad at that at all. That's a solid pick. Very nice, sir. Good job, Devin. All right, two packs left, ladies and gents, and it's the two Johns. We have number 23 is Johnny Walker, and 24 is Johnny Rios. Is there a third mythic? Or did I miss a mythic? I can't remember. I think I've only seen two mythics so far. All right, John Walker right here. This is, again, 23 is John Walker. Uncommon Rancor, Beetleback Chief, uh, Lies, uh, Alana Scarblade, and the rare spot is, it's green, it's Regal Force. I use this all the time. I like this. That's a fun one. And what's our foil? <gasps> Oh, shit, that's a W, a foil wasteland, holy smokes, that is definitely a W, Johnny Walker, my God, that may be the most value, that's possibly the MVP of the set, that is a beautiful pick, so just to recap, there were three foil rares in this box, and this was, this was, that was solid, very, very solid. Wow. Everybody tag Johnny Walker right now. Uh, he goes by Edward Johnny Walker, but this is John Walker. Wow. That is a... Damn, he's also the guy who won the mocks, too. Remember that. This has been his year. Holy shit. That was a very nice pull. Wow. Johnny, congrats to you, boss. Very, very nice. All right, and everyone else, we have a final pack left. This is the second John. This is John Rios. So good luck to you, John Rios. Let's see if we can get you that final bit of love right here. I don't know how you top a foil wasteland. That was just, that was fire. Oh, such a great pick. All right, will there be a final mythic? Will it be a force, a Jace, a Tudor, a, a Mana Crypt? It's all coming down to this final pack. Thank you again, everyone, for participating. Before we finish this, I just want to say... Um, for those that need shipping, I'll run over individually. I'll tag you guys and what everybody won in the chat as soon as I just get it all uh, put together. If you need shipping, uh, I'll add that up. It's usually $3 a pack. If you want more than, uh, than one, it'll be a little bit higher. Uh, I can get that done today shipping-wise just so you guys know. Uh, final thought about that. If you don't like your pack and didn't care for your pull, I will offer you a $5 credit to the shop uh, for your pack so that we don't have to worry about anything else. And we open today at 5 and we close at noon. So, or close at noon. Close at midnight. So please come on by uh, if you're local and you want to have some fun. All right. Final pack. Let's see what we got in here. Going to do this nice and slow like. Mm-hmm. You smell like the inside of my mama's purse. Grave Digger, Seismic Stomp, Monk Idealist. Again, this is the final pack of the box. It is John Rios's pack. Let's see what he got. Dream Twist, Milliken is our first uncommon. Honden of Seeing Wind's second uncommon. Ashnod's Altar, our third uncommon. That's always a nice pickup. What is, what is, what is our rare? Oh, Silvus Rogue Elemental is our rare. Wah, wah, a little bit. What is the foil? Do we make up for it with the foil? Grave Digger in foil. Ah, darn. All right, so the MVP there was definitely John uh, Walker with the foil wasteland. Somebody else got a non-foil wasteland. There was a Chrome Mox. There was a Sylvan Library. There was a foil Toxic Deluge. There was definitely value in this set. Uh, there was no Force, no Jace, and no Mana Crypt. Those are the big three. But almost everything else of value got opened in this set. So you can't be mad at that. That was a solid, solid pickup. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I will post this so you guys can watch who won what. And then I'll also tag everybody with their wins uh, as soon as I put it all together. Uh, thank you very much for participating and playing. That was our last commission raffle of 2019. I appreciate so much your support. You're the reason that this channel actually became what it is and why this shop was able to get going. We will have a surprise, surprise right around New Year's a final raffle that will be absolutely free to get into. You just have to be a member of our group. All right, everyone? So stay tuned to that. Lots of more fun coming. Not to mention, I'm about to announce our New Year's Eve game till you drop night, which of course will be New Year's Eve. We'll even tie in an extra uh, tournament in there and a whole bunch of fun. So if you're in the Brooklyn, New York area and you don't have plans for New Year's Eve, 
think about coming by the basement. All right, everybody, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.